<laughs> All right, Lyle and I are here at the geysers. Do you ever feel like the ground is boiling beneath you, Lila? No. I feel like it is. You can hear it bubbling. Yeah. It's kind of scary. It feels like a volcano is going to erupt at any time. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think about this place? It's just this, but it's cool. It's cool. What does it smell like? Sounds like someone took a big old poop. Oh no, oh no, poop. Oh. All right, so we're just walking along. I have to do this the to geysers. Keep getting sunburned. Yeah, Sawyer's really sunburnt right now. Um, we've had an amazing day so far. It's just so beautiful out here. I know I keep saying that, but I don't know what else to say, you know? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And uh, I mean, it kind of like looks like you're in like some sort of Star Wars land or something when you look around I mean this doesn't look like earth kind of and then you look back here and everything's just smoking up behind you and the smell of sulfur in the air things are boiling around um, hopefully that's a good description I'm not sure what is going on in Yellowstone guys I was just reading a National Geographic article that was posted on Thursday, and they were talking about over there at the Norris Geysen Basin area um, that there's a large transformation taking place right now. It says the size of Chicago, and uh, that's located in the center of Yellowstone. So the Norris Geyser Basin is Yellowstone's oldest thermal basin, and it's the hottest at registering 459 degrees under there. And you see all this uh, bubbling up and all this stuff? Well, that's the, um, you know, the magma underneath there. And there was a lot of intrusion of magma back in the 90s, which causes more of this bubbling up. So one thing that kind of caught the scientists' eyes and has been gaining, you know, a lot of attention is the steamboat geyser. It has been going off. It's been kind of going crazy, um, erupting more often, um, not as spread out as usual, a lot more activity with that steamboat geyser. This geyser's eruptions are just getting more and more frequent, which is causing um, the, the public and the scientists and everybody to kind of take notice of this. It used to be far more spread out, but here recently the steamboat geyser is very very active something to look at though hydrothermal explosions are pretty much impossible to exactly predict or forecast don't be surprised if you don't see some explosions in the Norse geyser basin soon also don't confuse what we're talking about here with these with the um, Norse geyser basin with the super volcano that created Yellowstone. We don't want to get those mixed up because that's not any more likely to erupt than it was before. Yeah, the geology of Yellowstone is certainly complex and I definitely don't understand all of it. Just trying to read into it somewhat and share with you guys this interesting you know article that National Geographic came out with we really hope you enjoyed it um, if you like the content please give us a like subscribe if you want to see more um, keep an eye on Yellowstone guys because there is something definitely going on thanks so much we'll see you next time